Hello, Sharks. It is nice to meet you all. My name is Dopper. I am here seeking advice running my team of employees in a much more efficient and organized manner. I have recently been asked to assist with company-wide transition as we move to a larger scale practice. We have all had major growth that has made both the way my employees act as well as work different. I have been listening to their suggestions as well as involving them in the group decision making process. And this is where my problem lies. I have included my employees and have involved them perhaps a little too much in the decision making process with the company. I constantly find myself fighting to get my point across when it comes to the workflow process. My employees are feuding between each other and arguing one change that could negatively affect towards another employee's area. Work is not getting done and quite frankly, I don't know what to do. Who could offer me some guidance? Hello, Dopper. Well, it sounds like you're in deep. Grr, 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 grr. Skyway deep. I sure am. Well, all joking aside, Dopper, I believe I could best I could best help you out of this panel in the group decision making process. First, there is a fine line with who and how to incorporate your employees. You need to evaluate them in terms of what exactly they will bring to benefit you in your decisions. Not everyone can offer insight with regards to every department as they do not work in that area. You need to carefully select who would be best to be able to provide the most useful feedback and incorporate them to make a better decision for the whole bunch. Democracy is an absolutely good thing to have in the workplace. However, when it comes to getting stuff done, the manager must step up and stand firm with their decisions. You cannot make all the decisions, as you must make your employees feel as if they are valued and heard. Group decision making is commonly over is a commonly overlooked tool and asset in every manager's toolbox. You must use it both where it applies and where it makes sense. In this particular case, you are doing the right thing. I suggest holding on to your authority a little bit harder and letting your employees know that you make the decisions in the end and there is nothing to argue, fight, or fret over. Thank you so much for your advice. I thought I was doing the right thing by including everyone until I found that my employees became unruly and rather rude. I will take heed of your advice and go into the work tomorrow with confidence that I can take control of my team once again. Thanks again. You're absolutely welcome. Best of luck to you, Dobber. I know you'll do great. We'll check back with you in a couple months, see how you go.